glad you're here today because today we are going to do the playoffs and the finals. So we're going to do the final four boards today of our Mario Party CPU challenge. Which means that two of our characters today are going to be in all four games. Uh, either Mario, Peach, Wario, or DK. Because Luigi and Yoshi have already qualified for the finals. <laughs> Start with Wario's Battle Canyon and we'll work our way down. This isn't my favorite board to play, but I do kind of like the music in it. Mm, Wario's going first today. He's saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to make the finals. Okay, Peach. And Mario back in his familiar place going last. So we got the boost base and the uh, star and the exact same island. Oh, and we're off. Start for Wario, as he is going to almost make it to the island. So if he wins this, uh, depending on where he lands, obviously on that island, he could uh, get a star next round or next, uh, yeah, the next turn, assuming he wins the enough coins to buy the star. Ten though is really good. So Peach is going to end up again really close. Cool. She is in the same spot Wario is. All of our characters were 13, so whoever wins this four-player minigame will have enough to buy the star. So, possibly a turn two star today. would get us going early and often, I guess. Peach had a nice, uh, nice open space, and she's going to get there first. So Peach is the one who's able to buy the star if she can get there. So if, in case you're wondering, what in the world are we doing today? Uh, we're actually playing um, Mario Party one that's not exactly true we're not playing we're watching computers play mario party one um we already had our first and second halves of the game so that is completed luigi won actually both halves believe it or not uh but um the math just doesn't work out if i only have one character moving to the final so i did take the second place character in the second half which was yoshi and he is also qualified uh, for the finals. The final four players, as you kind of see underneath where it says the second half there, uh, are going to compete in a two board finals match. So they'll be the same characters in this and the next boards. Whoever has the most points at the end of those two boards, in fact, the, the, the two characters who have the most points at the end of that board are going to both make it to a two-match final. So 
So if you're wondering how you make points, you can see that uh, towards the top there. Uh, if you get first place in a board, you can get you will get four points. Second place, three points. Third place, one point. And fourth place does get one point. You also get one point for each star that you end the game with. So it's not each star you correct, collect, because you, there are ways to lose and steal. It's the most stars at the end of the game. There's also bonus stars uh, that you can get. The bonus stars are on. It's part of the game. You get a bonus star for minigame, whoever gets the most points in minigames. There's one for whoever has the most coins at one point of the game. And there's a third one for who lands on the most happening spaces, which are the green question mark spaces that you will see um, around the board um, occasionally. Um, any tiebreakers we have with points is going to decide, uh, be decided by total coins in the round. So either the two playoffs or the finals. So that's where we are there. As you can see uh, right above me, we got Luigi and Yoshi both qualified. So um, the, the rest of the characters, as I said before, Mario, Peach, Wario, and DK are going to play Wario's Battle Canyon and then Yoshi's Tropical Island. Whichever two characters have the most points after that will reach the finals. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to do both the playoffs and the finals today. Oh, a bad positioning for Mario, but he can get... I was going to say you can get a, a mushroom and, and get further, but uh, he got a poison mushroom, and he will miss the next turn. Well, usually we'll we'll take a little break and walk around during castaways, but this is the second the second game. I just sat down. I don't really need to get up and move around, so we'll stay right here today. Castaways is just one of the longest games, uh, mini games in the Mario Party 1. It is one whole minute. There is Deep Sea Divers, uh, which, uh, I don't think, I think Deep Sea Divers is the 2v2. There's a four-player mini game where you dive that's, um, uh, actually 90 seconds long, so it's actually longer. However, it does end when... Uh, all of the treasure chests are gathered, and since we are playing with hard CPUs, they generally will, uh, they will generally finish a little faster than that. Finish. I am also suffering because of the smoke in the air. Um, there's the... I'm in Wisconsin, and with the uh, fires up in Canada, you can just you can walk outside, and you can just see smoke, and it's uh, it's not playing well with my throat. So I will do my best not to cough in your faces, or your more specifically in your headphones. All right, can Wario get there? No, he's close. Or, sorry, that's DK, not Wario. Peach should be able to get the star. Oh, she will roll high enough. And actually, she has 51 coins already? Wow. I didn't really pay attention to who got what in Castaways, but I saw a couple of treasure chests gathered. And looks like all of the characters do have the 20 coins that would be needed should they get to the uh, star space. You can see one of the happening spaces right under the star there. That's what we were talking about before. If, uh, for some reason, this is your first time watching Mario Party. This, this board's a little bit more difficult to steal stars. And that's only because there's no guarantee that you'll go past them. Um, because you kind of land randomly in the circles. Ready? And the boo is kind of towards the beginning of one of the circles. You also need 50 coins to be able to steal a star. 
There's also a Bowser space, so that could that could take care of some of our stars as well. But uh, Peach is ahead going into the final lap. Actually, I don't think this is the final lap. No, I think, but oh, it was. Who was it? Peach or Mario? It was Peach. So she is making a strong showing for that mini game star. She's also had 51 coins at one point. So that's important to note because that's the most that anybody's had. That's good. He's mostly skipped the red spot planet. Or island, I guess I should say. Does miss the start, but he will be shot off to the correct island. Let's see if he can get close to... He's not. But a mushroom could do it, and he will get the mushroom, so he'll get another roll. Is he gonna get there? He is gonna, in fact, get there. It's a really nice turn by Wario. That star did not stay there very long. Goes back to the first island. So there's the boo, as you can see. There's only a few spaces in front of it. And uh, PK, unfortunately, is passed, but he will go to a happening space. We this is another way that you could lose stars. I said happening. Chance time. Sorry. Not the first time I've done that. Probably won't be the last. So DK is going to be involved with the decision. Will he give or get? Peach also involved. She has the star. And it's actually 30 coins that Peach is going to have to give to DK. That one hurts. She's still in first place because she has more coins than Wario does, but... That first place uh, is is down to four, uh, five points. So that was an unfortunate landing for Peach, but she's actually uh, making her way across the islands in a pretty quick pace here, and that kind of stalls. Mario will not... Oh, I thought he lost his turn. That must have been two turns ago. It is important to get a good quick start here, but it's not the only thing. You, know, you could... You could make the argument that the two characters that win these two boards are most likely to move on, but that's not necessarily the case, especially if one character wins both boards. You could win with one star. Peach, Peach falls in the drink. Now, if you get, like, five or six stars here, it's going to be very uh, difficult for two characters to uh, surpass that uh, on the next board, which is going to be Yoshi's Tropical Island. It will be these same four characters next time. Finish. And this one goes to Wario, who, by the way, has been now in five consecutive games, because he was in all four games last time. Uh, when we finished uh, part two, or the second half of the regular season. Tell me if you guys want to see Mario Party 2. Uh, it is something that we can do. Mario's Parties 1 through 6 all allow you to do uh, CPU battles. So we can go up to 6, and then, I mean, we could start a season 3 after that. So if this is something you guys like, uh, let me know. It feels like it's a little bit of cheating with me just watching people play video games instead of while I'm streaming, but... So far it's gotten... 
while I was doing this, I, I've gotten a few follows and I've gotten a few people, new people talking in chat, which has been great. Um, first three parts are up on YouTube, by the way, and this one will go up there uh, this afternoon. So if you missed anything, uh, head over to US Press 72 uh, at YouTube. And also uh, follow me on Twitter. Same, same name, all three spots. Yeah, I'd like to know if you're gonna see more of these. Finish. both the boot and the star. Yoshi is the reigning uh, Season 1 champion in Mario Party 1, in case you're curious. But it's been Luigi who's been dominating today, or this season. Not that it matters, because um, it all goes comes down to those final two boards today because he won season uh, part one and part two doesn't mean that he's going has any further advantage than anyone else uh, besides the fact that he is already qualified but you have to imagine that winning a board gives you a big overall at least a one point advantage going into the, the last playoff game. So DK's 64 um, points now gives him the coin lead, so Peach has lost that. Characters usually win this one. This is uh, everybody wins or everyone wins this game. But on hard, they, they generally uh, are able to get the ball to the end. Peach is a ghost. And she's not anymore. Okay, gotta watch out. He's getting close to the boo. Looks like he's gonna do just fine. One more boo to watch out for. It's gone. No? I mean, unless he gets me, okay. Relatively minor danger, but still danger. Finish! Four now for the coins. And he has the only happening. That's two bonus stars for him. At least right now. We're probably going to get our first non four player minigame this round. First six, all were four player. DK now is going to get to the boo and the star, assuming nobody else gets to the star first. Rare 2v2 minigame.
Mario are past the Womp. It's their game to lose. Peach and Wario without great communication. But they're still going to have a chance to pass. And they do pass. And we'll take the victory. It was Mario and DK's to lose. And they, uh, they, they lost it. Race to that star, though. They, they, they both get the, uh, the food. Question is, who's gonna have enough money to steal a star? DK it does, if he chooses to. Star! does as well. He stops losing coins. But DK's gonna get his chop first. Let's see if he can roll a three or higher. He does. Is he going to steal a star? He cannot do both. So he is stealing a star from Peach. It does mean that he will not have enough to buy the star. So that's a... That's a... That's a possible good spot for Wario to be in. Of course, he doesn't have the money to do both right now either. And you would think that you kind of want, you know, for I you know it's 50, but you can both help yourself and hamper your teammate by stealing a star instead. But who knows? Maybe we'll get a good mini game coming up. Where you can get enough points to, to get to 70 so you can do both. is 60 seconds long, but generally doesn't last that long. There's going to be two arrows telling you where to go, and then there's one chest somewhere in here with the tank ones. There's the chest! Each one right there. Finish. And he's going to win another minigame. So that puts her one away from being able to do both. One coin. Also stealing a star. Only one place to steal it from. <laughs> Is Peach gonna take that star back? That's the question. This is an interesting place to put the star. Because you... It, unless you land on one of those two spaces, you're gonna go through the boo first. So if Peach can roll like a one or two, and then get at least another coin in the mini game, she could both steal her star back and buy the next one. And she is gonna have to make her decision, and I think with Wario having two, you kinda have to. So Peach steals it back. She's the one who originally had it. But it's going to leave her one coin short of being able to buy this one. Oh. 
Mario's in a good spot, though. He might get enough money to do both before he gets there. Get there and get behind the blue has enough to win both. We could end up with two. that I said there wasn't a whole lot of stars for healing going on. What do I know, right? Alright, so she's gonna get 20 of those coins back soon. I think Mario has 20. No, well, he's gonna, she's gonna get 18 back. She did lose uh, uh, 30 earlier to, to DK. 78 might be the coin lead now. That's a decent spot to land. She's winning a lot of mini games. Just something to point out. All right, Wario's gonna get to the island first. I believe this is the island with the star on it. Never mind. It is not. At least he's gonna get some points. Play along. Southeast? Star. 
stopped concentrating for one second and I wasn't Finish. exactly sure I was still looking at the right shell, but I had it. It's all good. Everyone's had this star. Is he? Did he roll enough to get to the space too? He did. So suddenly, Mario with the coin star. What do you have? Like eighty-four or something like that? Eighty-one. And suddenly, two stars of his own. Mario taking a making a push for the uh, for the finals. Again, yeah, if you could get four or five stars and win this board, it's going to be very difficult for anyone to catch up in the next board. You can move across the whole thing in one turn if you get the if you get the uh, the good spots. Yeah. All right, so this is a tough one to get to. You do have to get to the fly guy, which is right there, which Wario's now passed, and have him take you to the island. And it costs money to get to the island, so. And you also have the Bowser to deal with when you're done with it. So it's not a great spot. I get him. I don't know if he's gonna get those last two. I think he's gonna have to settle for eight coins if he will. But eight is eight, right? Six? I thought he had eight. Well. <laughs> what do I know? Star. 
I've seen people lose 30 points in this game. Finish. Twenty-two, that's a lot. Unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, here's our first bashing cache of the day. Unfortunate because DK... Uh, unfortunate for DK, I guess I should say. You cannot hit coins, you will lose them. Though. We're gonna start with 56. Big winners. I think Peach only got one. Wario got 15 out of those, but yeah, that's that's not great for DK. Mario is currently miffed because he got the uh, poison mushroom, so he can say goodbye to turn 14, which just won't be happening to form or turn 15, sorry. We are in turn 14. DK not able to steal a star, but he will take some of uh, Wario's coins from it. and more back here. Thirty's not bad. I don't think anyone's gonna feel bad getting thirty coins.
Okay, almost knocked himself up there. So he was able to save it by a pixel. See if they can get out of the infinite. They will, and Peach makes an unfortunate move, and DK fortunately misses. This is DK's game to lose now. Oh! How did she hang on? Finish. Peach somehow manages to hang on and wins. A little bit of work to do for Peach and DK, though. In case you're curious, and I know I've mentioned this in the episodes before this, but this might be your first time. Uh, we have done a season one of this. Wario, uh, sorry, Mario and Peach have not won a game yet. Uh, Wario's actually won two games. He's, he won Mario Parties five, uh, three and five. Uh, Yoshi took one, as I mentioned before. Uh, Luigi actually won Mario Party two, and DK won Mario Party four. The reason is that 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 is significant is because Mario Party 4 is the last one where DK is a playable character in the CPU series. He's not a playable character in 5 and 6. In fact, he doesn't become a playable character again I, uh, in, until the end of the, I think in the Wii U series, like 9 or 10. Finish. Well, 9 was Wii. Oh, no. I know he wasn't in 8. I don't remember if he was in 9. And I've not played 10 yet. I know he is in Super Mario Party a playable character. Uh, so in his swan song, which is Mario Party uh, 4, he actually did win. So he left with a victory. Let's see if he can, if we make it to Mario Party 4, let's see if he can uh, uh, duplicate that. And then I've mentioned Mario Party's one through five winners is because six was actually won by Toad. He's not a playable character until Mario Party 5. See if she falls before the fly guy. She will. Will she go towards the star? She will. But she misses the star and is going to go right to Bowser. Peach is bleeding coins like you wouldn't believe. gonna go back to the island like I told you you can you can do this entire board in one turn so she, this is attempt number two to get the star for her this turn and this time she she lands on it right and she is gonna get the, uh, the star and a chance at a one-player minigame Placing of that one. He's the other, he's the only one without a star right now. Peach is gonna have to be careful because she is gonna lose 20 coins probably next turn when she gets to Bowser. Peach 
taking the safe path with the path of no points. Again, she is not gonna get a chance at coins. It's all or nothing for Peach. But she should be making it. We're good. Finish. So she has to win this next mini game just to break even. If she loses 20. that DK has now is the most again. I could be wrong. Yeah! Remember, Mario had 81. card and gets both Wario and Peach. Gotta be careful, DK. Finish. Pirate Shy Guy is gonna do that. Shy Guy says another one that's gonna come back for Mario Party 2. Second time that's happened to Wario, that's uh, kind of a bummer for him. But here is uh, DK's chance. He says, I'm going to make it last one more turn. I know nobody's got to 90, so that's got to be his second bonus star. Because I'm pretty sure he's the only one who has a happening space. And I'm very sure no one has two. So DK, ironically enough, the one player without any uh, stars right now might be in the best position. He's going to get one next turn, and right now he's got two of the bonus stars. I'm assuming Peach has the third. I think she's won a lot in the games. But then again, DK won the 30 points in the uh, in the one-player minigame. Do those count? Because if that counts, DK might be sweeping the bonus stars. only uh, nine coins behind so is his coin star safe especially since he's going to be spending 20 next turn <laughs> I think that fell right into DK's lap. All those coin bags. Finish. DK may have had a great game there. Only nine, I guess. I guess not. But his coin lead does extend to twelve now. So ninety-nine is the uh, is the high. Every character is at least one star right now. Space was right there. Mario 
Mario can steal another one. And he will. This is gonna be his third. The, the bonus star too and he's gonna be hard to beat it's not the top one character after these next two games it's the top two there's two spots available in the final only two of the spots have been filled so far Take full advantage of that. Get his star back. Well, get another one to replace it anyway. Did get over 100, 102 now. Not guaranteeing, because a lot can happen, but you didn't put him in a pretty good position to take any tiebreakers. That might come up. Started off really strong though. Star. more for her. And minus five for everyone else, which could be more important. Alright, last turn. Can anyone get another star? Pretty much gonna seal up, uh, any game for, yeah, point star for him. I was gonna say, unless Peach rolls a one, he gets chance time. Everyone gonna pass go here and take another 20 points. Can Mario do the same? A lot less likely, and no, he will not. But we're gonna end with a four player game. Camera 
already. Since I am playing the CPU match, the, uh, the final score doesn't stay on the screen for very long, so I've kind of just taken, to sh taken a quick shot of my TV screen so I can come back and figure out who won the, uh, the board. Well, I know who won, but, you know, track the coins and everything. Finish. Mario didn't try. Peach looks good, though. Luckily, you only need 80%. So everyone's gonna end up with even more coins. A lot of stars, a lot of coins, a lot of star stealing in this game. It's been a, good, it's been a fun board. Can Peach or DK make up the two star difference? They all do have um, tiebreaker over Mario. Who has the least amount of points. Even, even Wario does. So it was Peach, in fact. The last two might be DK. Unless there was a happening I missed. Yeah, but there was. So I think DK took this. Mario might have ended up in third. Same characters, new board. Part of the game stuff. Mario with a 10. Mario. DK. Peach is gonna go last this time. Alright, this is the final game. This is gonna decide it. Does DK have enough points with his victory to make it to the end? Can Peach turn her second place into the other spot? All will be decided, or all will be revealed within the next uh, 20 turns. Okay, so DK was in first, he had three stars. 133 coins, so even if he doesn't win, that's going to give him a lot of tiebreaker opportunities with 133 coins. So he's going to get 7 points. Peach... 
also three stars and 107 coins, so she'll only get six points. But it's only one more she has to get to, to pass DK. Mario, also with three stars and 61 coins, so five points for him. And then Wario, two and 79, will get three points. So nobody's out. Everyone is still in this. Finish! And again, we're taking two, we got two spots available. And three of our players are within two points of each other. Points matter now. Unlike uh, unlike Season 1, where we only had one final, uh, the way I decided to do Mario Party 1, and if we do Mario Party 2, we'll probably do it the same way. Um, there's two games in the finals now. So it used to be that points didn't matter in the final because there was only one match. It was a winner take all. And I could have done that. I could have done that with a with a three game playoffs like I'd had in the past, and then a one game final. Star. We decided to mix it up a little bit. So points do matter in the final now. That's an unfortunate setup. She's gonna end up with 30 again. I mean, again, okay. But I've seen him get 32, 33 as the CPUs. Is Wario out of this? He is absolutely not out of this. He is only two points out of a playoff spot. Well, three points out of a playoff spot. And that's the second place finish. Depending on who... Mario Party 3 and 4, they, they each have 8 characters, Finish. so we'll probably do something similar. I don't know how we're going to do the playoffs, but... We'll probably do like two halves again like we did last time. I'll, what did I do in season one for Mario Party 3? Did I just do a whole season? I think I did two halves again. playoff and then a final. I don't remember if I did all all 12, uh, 12 matches and everyone played six and whoever got the most points made it. Or if we did the top two. I'll have to go back to the videotape and check that out. It's gonna be a while until we get to Mario Party 3 anyway, so. 
but I do remember last season I just did eight uh, boards in Mario Parties 1 and 2. Instead of the full 16 like we did today. Or we're finishing today. And he does the whole thing without finding the Bowser space. Good for Wario. Playing these for ten rounds now. Actually, more than that. Fourteen. Star. It's two hundred eighty turns. Two hundred eighty different mini games. Still early. Ooh. Not a good day to be Mario. Bashing cash with Bowser is the worst because nobody gets the coins. Well, maybe it's better that nobody gets the coins, but you could lose everything. And this early in the game probably will, to be honest. How many coins does he have? 33? I might. He probably. Hopefully, won't lose them all. Remember 30 seconds ago when I said he probably won't lose them all? Close enough where it's not going to make any matter. Now he's down to 8. Oof. Finish! Oh no is right. It's early, Mario. It just stinks because you're right by that star. gets the party, and you just don't have the money. And then you have to play a minigame by yourself. for Mario, this minigame um, favors the one. Now it's, the, it's the three that can lose money here. Now, granted, they can only lose five each, which is a lot better than losing 25, but still. And they... Ooh, that's a strike for Mario. I don't think we've had that yet in the CPU battle. Mario does have enough to get that star. Yeah. So 
that was a very favorable mini game for him. Steals from Wario, even though he has seven coins only, and he's only gonna get one, so I guess it didn't matter too much. And then plays a trick on his teammate, well, his opponents. Because now, Toad is gone, and he has been replaced by Bowser. Trying to get his coin back. Gets that and a few more. Wario's okay that the uh, Mario or that the Bowser's changed. At least he is until he gets around the circle again. I steal from Peach. And now she doesn't have enough to steal a star, but I doubt she would by the time she got there anyway. She wants to roll relatively well. Whoa, that's that's probably the best Peach could have done. She's hoping that somebody else lands on a happening space. I don't think she's gonna have an opportunity to land on one till after she passes Bowser. Oh, Bowser's going to sleep. Star. Mario, I'm not sure the cheeks moved at all, so I don't know what you're doing. Mario's looks really good. Oh, now he's messing with it. Never mind. Should have left it alone. DK's doesn't look terrible, but Finish. again, cheeks. for happening here. Otherwise, she's going to have to pay the piper on her next turn. him. That, that boo uh, kissed his hat. <clears throat> but they gave it to him. open the top two point getters after this game this board are going to join luigi and yoshi in the finals luigi and yoshi are going in fresh now i don't i know their computers that doesn't make a lick of difference but it makes for a fun story so let's go with it 
going in completely flat fresh, they have not had to play four mini games in a row, like the eventual winners of uh, of this board will. So far, all three of them have landed there. We've had three. If we were speed running, this would be a horrible turn. Seven back when you lose 30 isn't uh, it's gonna make you feel better. And to add insult to injury, there is the happening, which may not be terrible for her if you want to think of it that way, because she's the only one on that side, and everyone else is at the beginning of the circle. So assuming somebody doesn't also land on a happening, a she gets a happening space, nothing wrong with that, and b she's on the right side. Down, but it is going to slow him down, and Wario is actually going to win the, the minigame. And that's the other happening that the other characters wanted to see. Mario Chief among them, knowing that he's going to get there next turn, assuming there's not another happening. A turn six chance time. He's in danger of losing his star. Mario's in danger. Well, DK doesn't have one. And it's coins that Mario is going to give to DK. I don't think he has 20. I think he only has 11. He does. So it'll 
be all his points. That's right, DK did not have enough points to even buy the uh, the inner tube that pops. And there's another happening. So we're switching sides again. That he was able to get those coins. He's about to lose them. As most likely will Wario and DK. I mean, not all of them, but DK might. They might just take all of his. Mario's a tuber. He's down to two coins. And as you can hear, he is now miffed. See if War uh, Bowser just takes him out. Yeah, he will. Bowser playing a big part of this board.
Wario with another win. <laughs> Nobody guaranteed a spot of these four yet into the final, though. DK's got a victory under his belt, so you gotta imagine if anyone is gonna make it, it's gonna be him. Then again, third place is only two points behind him, so... Even Wario's not out of it. those happening spaces now. Is DK going over there too? He is. It's gonna get expensive to come over here pretty soon. We're up to eight coins already. on her side. and the teams are going to win. Doesn't do you much good when everybody gets the same number of coins, though. Bit of a wash in the end. again gonna get the star and hit a happening space that's the second time he's done that and ruin it for everybody else Let's see how much he cares that he's ruining for everybody else probably not a whole lot Another one, so they're all now circling back and coming back to this side. Could be interesting to see who wins happening this turn. There's been in quite a few of them. Characters can be smart enough not to bunch up in a little circle again and make it super easy for the one in. The one is Mario again, who bowled a strike last time. Now they're all gonna bunch up again. Why would they make it difficult? Mario's gonna win just playing bowl over by itself.
We might see a couple of characters get stars this turn. enough to be able to do both, so she'll have to steal money from uh, the boon, not a star, because she's going to be just short. But that's her first. And it, did she land on that happening? I think she's the one who landed on the happening this time. decides whether he wants to pass, he is. So this is the second playoff game. This is the one that's going to decide which two characters goes to the final. So whoever has the two top points at the end of this match, at the end of this board, which we are now halfway through, will go to the finals. one for uh, for a human character but the, the uh, computer seem to be handling this one fairly well only three though Not one of the better ways to win, but it was quick. Imagine doing a slot machine that well and only winning three coins. You get more than three times that just for winning a minigame. Well, here's the good news. DK can finally afford a star. Here's the bad news. He ended up running into Bowser. Again. <laughs> Poor guy. This, this point lead isn't that great. At one, two, and three all had three stars. So the first, second, and third place players all had three stars in the last uh, turn. DK only won because he happened to have more coins. Now, certainly that's going to help him if it comes to a tiebreaker after this game. But it also means that his uh, 
His competitors are not that far behind him. You can see one, two, and three, first, second, third place are only separated by two coins. So he can afford to fall one spot. But if he falls two, he's gonna find himself out of the final. ignoring it. Wario doesn't seem to be. Oh, now they're there. Okay, who's got it? Mario or DK? Mario or DK? I think that was Mario. It was DK! Finish! They gave that one to Donkey Kong. Decides to stay in this circle. And Peach is gonna catch up. She's also now got two stars, along with Mario and Wario. It's getting exciting. Peach with a victory would guarantee a spot in the final. DK also would guarantee a spot in the final. Imagine winning both games. Yeah, you're going to get into the final. I think those are the only two that can guarantee themselves a spot with a win. Yes, it's very likely that with a win you get in for Mario. But not, not guaranteed necessarily. You guarantee it would go to points, at least. But Mario, uh, Wario's gonna need a win and some help if he wants to get it. He's not out by any means. He's only two points, uh, sorry, three points out of second place. you're wondering which two boards are we playing in the finals is going to be Peach's birthday cake and then DK's jungle adventure are going to be the two boards that we play in the finals bunch of coin bags there. Finish. I think he's going to be very happy with the results. 16, yeah, I think he'll be okay with that. Everyone gets a little something something though. Does Mario stay here? He will stay here, land on the happy space, bring the star back to this side. 
And I thought you got a lot of happening spaces in Peach's birthday cake. And you do. <laughs> but this one we're getting a lot too. saying, please don't make me go to Bowser again. <laughs> I've been such a good boy. I don't want to go to Bowser again. Wants to get up there, huh? This is interesting. I have not seen that happen in a CPU battle before. <laughs> expensive to get over there. I don't really know why he would have chosen to do that. He's on the Bowser side. And unfortunately, DK knows that all too well. Here's how you win uh, Yoshi's uh, <laughs> tropical island. Just stay on the opposite side that DK goes. <laughs> and you'll be fine. He's gotten there like four or five times already. And every single time, it's been a, it's been a Bowser. There's the happening that, that Wario wanted to see. just over a minute. Four seconds is just over a minute, right? Okay. 
Who could have thinks Peach is gonna win? Too bad in this in this uh version of the game you don't get any bonuses for that. must be getting close to coming around again. <laughs> Not really. He doesn't want anything to do with that happening, or that, uh, I did, did it again, with that chance time space. come out and give him to Bowser himself. Find out in four turns. Normally I'd say DK's a shoe in since he won the first battle, but he only won by one point and he is two stars behind right now. He doesn't even have tiebreakers. Except for against Mario. Well, not anymore. For him, one of the players on top of uh, Wario does need some help. DK's gonna have to get some stars if he's going to, uh, if he's gonna have a chance. Oh, and another star for Mario at the expense of Peach. unfortunate for her. Also unfortunate for her, she's about to lose 30, uh, yeah, 30 coins, I think. She lost a star and 30 coins this turn. That's what you want to see. Top corner again. Take another guess. 
guess. Does she have time? I don't think she's going to. Nope, she just barely missed it. So six coins for her. Oh man, this is going to be close. And a four player. This is exactly what DK needed. Because he's about to get to the the toad, most likely. I mean, not guaranteed. We've all seen this happen. But he was more than 10 coins away from being able to get the, uh, the star. So again, this is exactly what DK needed. Now he just needs to collect some coin bags. And not fall off the edge. That's one. I think he's going to need at least three. I don't know if he got it. He got nailed by a hammer right at the end. Nailed by a hammer. I didn't, I didn't notice I did that. He's not going to get enough. didn't have enough anyway, so I guess that was probably the best, well, not the best option, but he didn't miss it yet. He didn't get there. Someone else could hit it happening. I don't think our poor boy is ever going to hit a, going to hit a mushroom though, a toad. Says, give me my stars back. Let's see if she can get it. Well, DK doesn't have any, so she's not getting any stars. So DK could get some. Oh yeah, DK doesn't have any stars, so nothing's gonna change hand here. Mario looking good to moving on. I'm not calling anything yet. Because he's technically and currently in third place, but 
with a two-star lead over the second place person and a three-star lead over the third place person. Both of those players ahead of the him. Well, eh, no, nah, not, not Wario. And then DK having zero stars. But that's gonna be good for him. Well, he doesn't have enough money. He still doesn't have enough. Poor DK. With him having zero stars, I don't see him moving on. This is it. If Wario doesn't land on a happening, I don't see DK getting a star. I don't see him getting around again, even with an 8. I don't see him getting around again. I know there's other ways to do it, but... birthday cake and we're gonna play DK's jungle adventure whoever has the most points at the end of those two are moving on Luigi and Yoshi are already in after this turn we're gonna see which two characters are gonna join them at the beginning of this day it seemed very likely that one or at the beginning of this board anyway it seemed very likely that one of those players was gonna be DK but he has gotten skunked so far he did have a lot of coins in the first game, though. So he uh, he could very well take any uh, any tiebreakers. But first, second, and third are bunched together really tightly. And Mario is doing very well as the third place person. He may be able to overtake Peach and DK. In fact, at this point, it, it, it looks like he will. Uh, depending on the bonus stars. Nobody's getting the coin bag. Nobody's getting either of the individual coins. So they're all just going right to the end. They're all going for the race, and it's Peach Finish. who's going to win the final mini game. Yeah. Let's see if it's enough. It's bonus star time, and then we decide who makes it into the final. <laughs> Mario winning any bonus star, and it's, it's pretty much game over for everyone else. And this one's gonna be interesting. There's a lot of happening spaces. So everyone got a happening, everyone got a bonus star, which means nobody's gonna catch up to Mario. The bonus star's equally distributed. Is it enough to give him a spot in the final? Does Peach have enough to get a spot in the final? Did Wario have a chance to overtake everybody and take a spot? Did DK waste his first victory of the playoffs? Pretty much get shut out of the finals. Is he out? We will find out in just a moment. 
I don't know. Right now, I do not know. <laughs> you gotta think Mario's in. Five stars, that's gotta be enough. So Mario, five stars and 39 coins. It's gonna give him nine points, that's gotta be enough. Wario actually came in second with three stars and 56 coins, so he'll get six points. Peach, two stars and 80 points, so that'll give her four. And DK, only one star and 45 points, so he'll get two. Let's check this out. All right, so Mario, nine onto that, that's 14. He's got to be in, right? Peach, we're going to add four, so she's going to have ten. Wario, we're going to add six, so he's got nine. And two, four... DK, oh, so another nine for him, so there you have it. It's Mario and Peach that make it to the finals. I think it's safe to say that DK got third with stars, but doesn't matter because Wario and DK Final. Two boards to decide it all. Are we gonna have. Is Yoshi gonna repeat as Mario Party 1 champion? Is Luigi gonna take the, the gold? Or will Peach or Mario win their first Mario Party board in the CPU battle? Even though it's called Mario Party, he's never. One. This is nice because I can just mash through. Whoop! I can't just mash through, I guess. Because I need to put him on hard difficulty. Welcome to the finals of the first... Uh, game, Mario Party 1, Season 2, of the CPU Battles. The only thing a human has any uh, control over is this initial roll. I have to hit the button and roll the button, roll the dice before we can uh, change to uh, a computer player. Peach is going to go first in her own board. And nobody's going to be surprised to see Mario in last. So, Mario and Peach are actually going to be in every board we play today. The star does not move in this game. It's who can get around the most. chance. He won the first game and could not make it to the finals. So winning a board not as important as you would think. Peach, who came in second and third respectively in the two boards, moved on. I 
And I think this is the second time we've started with Mushroom Mitsu. Didn't we do that with the first playoff game yet? No, that was mu Musical Mushroom. Never mind. So we're halfway through the day. We have finished the playoffs and we are now into game one of two for the finals. Points are still the same. Four points for first place, three for second, two points for third place, and one point for fourth, plus a point for each star you end up with. Uh, just like normal, tiebreakers are going to be uh, total coins in this and the next uh, four. And then right below the screen, you can see where we are. We finished the first and second half, we finished the playoffs, and we are now in the finals. It's, it's two matches. We have the winner of the first half, Luigi. Luigi technically won the second half as well, but because we need to find a way to... Uh, to uh, have another player make it. We just took whoever came in second in the second half, which was Yoshi. So he got in by default. <laughs> he snuck his way in. Uh, Peach and Mario earned their way in uh, in the playoffs. Ironically enough, only by one point. Well, Mario won handily, but Peach only got in by one point. DK and um, Wario had nine points in the playoffs. Peach had ten. So that's why she is here, and they are the first two players eliminated from Mario Party 1. right. I double-checked it before we got too far into this. Ready? Go! Now I could do uh, I could do some calculations to see who got third and who got fourth in the playoffs, but it doesn't really matter too much. I suspect that DK got third because he ended up with a lot of points in the first match. He had uh, 133 points, whereas Wario only had 79. And the second match, Wario did have more points, but only by 11. So, if you want to be technical, the playoffs ended Mario first place, Peach second place, DK got third, and Wario got last. But for DK and Wario, it doesn't really matter. They're both, both eliminated. player who's going to make it towards the star, and now he can afford it, so it's good for him. gets less lucky and he's gonna go into the circle and the Bowser space oh that is rough because he's also gonna hit the Bowser at some point but he's not out yet he could still win bloom burst and not lose coins I think three of the four players are gonna lose coins here so that's bad for Luigi who uh, is about to get his star unless he loses this mini game so a lot on the line for Luigi. A lot on the line for all of our characters. 
feel especially bad for somebody who's just about to make it to the star. It's a big deal if you can't afford the star when you get there. Because again, you, the star doesn't move. You have to get around the board, and you're only going to get around the board twice, maybe three times. So it's very important that you get it when you get it. Now, of course, Luigi could win the mini game here and still have enough, but... He will not. He will not be able to get enough coins. So he has to roll like one or two. You definitely want to make sure you have 20 coins when you pass the star here. Three cannot win money here. They can only lose it. Fortunately for them, Mario is not going for one of the characters. He's only going for the chest. And he's going to drop it. Miss. So nothing. I don't know if you lose. No, you don't lose anything. Okay. Butterfingers Mario. No Peach is going to make it. Because we've already had the Bowser Seed. Now it's possible nobody's going to be able to afford the star in the first round. Nobody's good. Nobody has it yet. You might be saying, but Prez, Yoshi has 20 coins. Yes, but he's got to pay for the flower. gonna have to get 30. Mario's just gonna lose his coin. It's gonna be the cheapest Bowser ever. He's gonna make it through because again the flower's there. Now, Yoshi has a 1 in 4 chance now that he's not going to be able to, uh, to even go towards the star. He might go into the circle as well. So all four seeds have now been planted. We're going to start over with a brand new set. So Peach needs to win this. Yoshi would like to win this. I don't think it's going to make a difference for Mario, and Luigi's already, already missed it. So Luigi could play spoiler here by winning. Or he can get out instantly. That's also an option. Now, if this game ends in a draw, nobody gets points. This isn't a they can both win kind of situation. This is a one person wins or it's a draw. We're head, certainly heading that way. Draw territory. Ooh, Luigi was, or sorry, Yoshi was really close, though, to winning. Mario could not have hung on by a lot. So, nobody is going to have enough coins to get there. seed here. No. Well, he's not getting it. Can't 
can Mario get enough coins to be able to buy this? This would give him a huge advantage if Mario can get up to 20 coins. You know. You have to imagine they're only going to get around once more, possibly twice if they can roll high. Mario stays in it though, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get enough coins. Nope, not here. It just keeps happening when uh, we're playing the, the mini games where you're on the side where you can't get any money. Which is too bad, because Mario has shown that he's really good at this game. Finish. board even more important because I don't know if they're going to get a whole lot of points in this board. It's going to be really hard to get a lot of points when you're only going to make it around once or twice again. There's more stars to be had in DK's Jungle Adventure. I can't believe everyone missed it, though. Nobody has enough money to set traps. The happening spaces are happening spaces. That's a bonus star at the end. And bonus stars could be even more important in a game where there's not going to be a whole lot of stars. from uh, happening to happening, though. That's how you win this game.
dinner. We're gonna have another draw here. Finish. Oh, never mind. This is one where they both win. Or all three can win. So now everyone but Yoshi wins that one. Ten if you want to get around twice. We're at turn nine. Yoshi can't get it happening to save his life. has that happened? Ready? Go! So the first board we had just two. Or two we had three. Happened twice on board three. We've had a 2v2. Just once on board four, and that was the last turn. Three times on board five. Three times on six. I guess we've had a decent one. One, two, three, four. Actually, it happened four times on board seven. Twice on board eight. Twice on board nine. Board ten only once. Once on eleven. Once on twelve. Once on thirteen. Once on 14 and now twice on 15. So, have not had too many 2v2s. Alright, this is big for Peach. Does she get an extra roll? She does. It's like getting an extra turn. That is humongous on this board. That's four places closer to the star than she wouldn't have had before. Yoshi still can't hit happening. Luigi cannot stay off happening. And cash because I don't think Peach even has the 20 coins. Start. Oh, she's 40. When did that happen? I lied. She ain't gonna have 20 for long, though. You cannot go through twice and not afford to buy the star. Although he does... Minus 30. Oh. 
That's the most I've seen. That is the most I've seen a character lose. The poor guy does not have enough. And bad to worse. Heard his back limboing. Star. He's got a pretty good board. Two blue, two reds in a row, but they are pretty well spaced out. Oh, yeah, the two in a row there. Oh, yeah, three in a row. That. I take it back, he had a bad RNG board. So minus five more for him. Luigi, who has just been dominant in this game up until now. Again, he won both the first and the second halves. Luigi did not play Peach, Peach's birthday cake last time. It is the same three people except for DK was there. Yeah. Mario decides not to buy a spot. side to get that coin, and Yoshi did go over the side to get a coin. Did Yoshi get anything? I'm not sure he got a coin in, that, in this game. We've had a lot of bad luck. Yoshi's been having bad luck in this board. Luigi's been having bad luck. best spot to get a star this turn. you out in the finals. There's not that much of an opportunity to get a bunch of stars in the in DK's jungle adventure. So if Luigi does not get 20 coins before he gets to the star again, he might he won't be mathematically eliminated, but he might be eliminated. Talking about how bad luck Yoshi has, he's the only one with the star. Why did I think it landed on that? 
I am not paying attention. We are playing Tipsy Tourney. Another one which uh, returns for Mario Party 2, by the way. Finish. So if you're a Tipsy Tourney fan, have no fear. It's coming back in the next one. Oh no. That puts Peach under 20. She's missing it. Peach missed it again. That is on for that's twice she has gotten around the board and has not had enough points to buy the star. It's gonna get there for Luigi too, assuming he doesn't go back in that circle. But he's not gonna have enough. Oh I mean, theoretically, that gives him a chance. He's gonna get coins here. Bowser's gonna feel bad for him. He's gonna take them all away next turn, but still. He also has the spot where he can steal a star, too. Remember, he did buy, spent 30 coins to buy the spot. Does Mario have enough? Of course he does. in a huge hole now. Having passed the... passed the star twice without being able to buy anything. to be able to afford to buy the star. It's going to be rough because he's got to pay 20 to Bowser. He's going to have to pay 10 to, to plant a seed. Eh. Maybe he won't have enough. Not a high enough roll, so he won't get to the star till next turn. But he's gonna have to get 20 coins between now and then. He's not going back. He's already he's already got the thing, so he's gonna he's gonna move on here. He's gonna move on with absolutely nothing to his name. We 
think he's buying? He's buying. Mario lands on those uh, happening spaces. That star is Yoshi's. So Yoshi finally lands on a happening space. Ooh, okay. The next turn's gonna decide, I guess. He didn't get past it yet. He avoided it. He didn't get past it. Alright, castaways, stand up and stretch time. I will see you in a minute. Not quite enough for Luigi, but it was the game he needed. So Peach and Luigi both made it around twice. Not enough to buy the star. I don't know, six turns? I don't think he's getting around again. It's possible. Alright, let's see if uh, Mario lands on the, in the trap. Nope. Gonna go right past it. So that was a waste of 30 coins for Yoshi. Peach avoids Finish. losing coins. Good for her. All right, final five turns. Let's see what happens. Little final five turns of the first board that we're playing in the finals. might be a good time to buy a spot. You've already got your star. It's good. You, yeah, you might get that second one. Maybe, maybe I would have held off on buying that. What do I know? chance to get money if your name is Luigi. If your name is everyone else, then you might you might be saying goodbye to your coin purse here. Start. 
Seems a lot. I uh, that's a waste of money. I would not have done that with only four turns to go. Nobody's even close to it. Peach might end up regretting that. Luigi, who has no money. Uh oh. Uh oh. He has the star now. <laughs> Peach might not be regretting it so much after all. It is a. Well, Luigi might get there again. Can he get there with money? I don't know, but he'll get there again. Don't do it, Mario. Don't waste your money. Oh! Now you are not gonna have enough to buy that star. close. It's anybody's game. Nobody's going to have a whole lot of stars going into the finale. Unless someone sweeps the bonus stars, which I mean, could happen. Mario's had a lot of money. He's uh, landed on a lot of, of uh, happening spaces. I would assume if anyone sweeps, it's going to be Mario. turns to go. There's a lot of hazards on the board. And only Luigi has money and he is way back there. I don't think he's making it around the star again. That is a huge yuck for Peach. Yoshi get his back? No, that's not his. Okay. Hey guys, nobody's hit. Nobody's landing on these bases. I can tell you that right now. for him. Holy moly. That'll give him first place. Two turns to go, but one for Peach because she's got that poisonous special. That could have been huge. If she could have hit that um, as another mushroom, that would have been big. Well, nothing happened because he doesn't have his star anymore. I don't know if Yoshi's making it. Mario could make it. I think I don't know if this is a Bowser seed or not. But he doesn't have any money, so it doesn't matter. Okay, a 
was a toad seed, but he's not gonna have any cash. I think Yoshi's the only one with a chance to make it. And ask and you shall receive. some coins on the board, and it's the last turn. It's Luigi with the star and the, the, uh, the tiebreaker. Mario has the third most coins and a star. Peach needs some bonus stars. And Yoshi will not make there, but there's been a lot of happening. I don't know if anyone's beat Mario. Mario had a lot of happening spaces. But we'll see. Well, well, I, I, I started talking about how many coins everyone had, and then we get grab bag. And all could be changed. and then we'll play our final board of the Mario Party 1 CPU battle. <laughs> Pretty safe to say Luigi's uh, keeping the tiebreaker. He is doing all right for himself in this game. Pichu lost big. Alright, these are huge, because there's only two stars on the board. And it means that the next board is going to be even bigger. Is he going to sweep? And <laughs> Luigi sweeps. Here talking about how bad he's doing, and he ends up with uh, with five star, four stars, and the win. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, apparently. Again, dominant this whole Mario Party. He did win both halves. He's won the first playoff game. And it looks like it was actually Yoshi who got last place.
said, you know, unless someone sweeps the mini games, this is huge, and somebody swept the mini games. And then 26, so he's gonna have four. He's got a four point lead. Peach, zero stars, 27 coins, so she will get two points. And Yoshi, zero and 22, so he'll only get one point. Guys, we're going in the last one, and I don't know if it's going to be close. That may have sealed it for Luigi, those bonus stars. Those were huge. And now I can literally just mash through this. Oh, dang it, I forgot about the hard thing again. I'm thinking because I can... Uh, I messed through it because we're playing the first board. Forgot about the computer difficulty. That was the only thing keeping me from being able to mash. Yep, I'll get the points up there in a second, I know. Here we are, final board of Mario Party 1 CPU battle. That's not an unusual place for it to start. That's how we stand in the final game. Nineteen turns away from figuring out who wins. Or as the uh, Luigi fans say, uh, 19 turns away from confirming that Luigi is the best Mario Party character out there. Do you agree or disagree? <laughs> Let me know. I mean, he did win both halves. I'd almost feel a little bit bad. If uh, Luigi did as well as he did for the first 15 boards and ends up losing it on the last board. <laughs> Two. 
good, Yoshi. Now the boo could play a big part in who wins this too, because it's really easy to pass both boos. And if you can get some coins, we could have some uh, some star stealing going on. Otherwise, you lose coins. Star. All right, Luigi, do not touch. Do not touch anything. You will ruin it. Yoshi looks great. Yoshi, stop touching stuff. Oh, I think they all got it. Maybe Finish. Peach didn't. Oh, maybe Peach and Yoshi didn't. Or Peach and Luigi. Only ten. have the first opportunity to steal from the Yoshi. Sometimes the first one does not net you a whole lot of coins. Three only. But here's a chance for her to get an extra spin. She will. I don't want to spin too high because you don't have money. So she's not going to be able to go towards the star, so unfortunate for her. Yoshi, I think, got five. Mario got one. And Peach actually did not get one single coin in that minigame. I lied. Mario got two. Yoshi. 
Mario? Yoshi. Money for the dinosaur. of a chance to, to come back and beat Luigi. <laughs> Mario ends up on the blue mushroom, which is, I think is more impressive than uh, getting your way up the red one. the decider. This one will tell us who wins Mario Party 1. And to be iron uh, uh, the ironic part is this entire game may have come down to um, 15 seconds of bonus stars in Peach's ca uh, Peach's birthday cake, and the reason for that is Luigi actually swept those stars. He had the most coins in mini games. He had the most coins at one point total, and he landed on the most happening spaces. So in those 15 seconds, it went from this is going to be a very close game because nobody has any stars to um, Luigi having a lot more stars than everyone else. Mario has enough. I don't know why Peach is paying. But she feels the need to go to go low. Gave 20 coins to Womps there. somebody to fall off this. As he opens his big bump, Luigi yeah. falls off. <laughs> 86 coins for Yoshi already.
seen him jump over a, a spike like that. That time he jumped over and ground pounded in the one on the other side. That was much more impressive. This is where Mario should be getting the star. Or next turn, depending on how we Yeah, he should get it. seeing Mario take a game. getting lucky with those boos so far. Three boos, he's only lost 11 coins. It's happening for Peach, and that's going to knock both her and Luigi back towards the start. Mario will avoid it. Actually, not terrible considering the the star is near the start. She should be paying. Oh, it opened for him at, for free. Why not? <laughs> it's good to be the king, right? The Yoshi does have a very steep uphill climb ahead of him. If he wants to win this. Sweeping at the bonus stars was, was absolutely humongous. Like I keep saying, that... And that alone, I think, is what's going to give Luigi the victory here. Out. I think this is gonna be Yoshi. Go uh, Luigi, sorry. Yeah. I meant Luigi. <laughs> Alright, there's coins on the board now. We've got options. Happening spaces could be huge. 
Boos are gonna be coming uh, a thing. Just gotta get them. There's a chance for more money. Stingy hammer drop. He's got his coins. Yoshi may have those two bonus stars. Eh, could he get that third one? He has a happening. I'm pretty sure he has a happening. And I think Louis, I think Peach has the other one. I mean, could Yoshi sweep the bonus stars this time? He absolutely could. In fact, I think he has all three of them right now. At least a share of them. Which would give him eight. Which means if Luigi got last place, they'd be tied. And there's certainly a lot more points on the board this time. The last one, nobody got to 100 points in Peach's birthday cake. I pretty much guarantee that. The weird thing is, I think the player that has one point up there, Yoshi, has the best chance of coming back and beating Luigi. Luigi is in fourth place right now. Man, I don't know. 
This is exciting for a very weird reason. If Yoshi could get another star and sweep the mini games, or sweep the the, the bonus stars, but he's got to watch out because uh, if anyone gets to 50 coins, they can steal one from him. So he's, he's lucky here that Peach does not have the ability to steal a star. See how much he loses here. 11. That's the that's equals what he's lost the three times before that. But Peach is going for the star. She's getting it. If Yoshi could snag another star and somehow manage to avoid losing any to the booze. He only has to sweep the bonus stars. I know. Only, right? No, all you have to do is sweep the bonus stars. Just get everything. But he might be there now. Way done here, and he's got all the bonus stars. I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least to share them. I think him and Peach are sharing them. Unless it was Mario that got that first half. Was it Mario or Yoshi? I don't remember. I thought it was Yoshi, but now I'm second guessing. Definitely gonna be stealing from him until. Especially if he gets that other star. So Peach's star is safe at the moment. I think. Alright, this is pretty big. Oh, he's going down anyway. Never mind. Okay, that's a happening for him. And it's gonna knock Mario away from the star. I don't know if that's what he meant to do, but it wasn't horrible. If I were Yoshi, I certainly am hoping that uh, Peach loses this mini game, though, because she is coming right up on a boo, and she's coming right up on 50 coins. And that. Stealing a star right now from Yoshi might be a nail in the coffin, like the final nail. You steal something from Yoshi right now, which is very likely, especially if you get 50, and um, you might be handing Mario Party 1 to Luigi. And she misses, which is exactly what Yoshi needs. we have clinched so far is we can guarantee that we will not have a game, a board, where we don't have repeat mini games, because we've had coin block bash twice in this board, and I don't know, I would think a Mario Party should have at least enough mini games where you don't play the same one twice in the same board, but it is a, it, it's, it's a big issue with the Mario Party games, especially the early ones. Even Mario Party 3, a lot of the times, there's 70 some mini games and you, you you repeat a lot in a 20 turn game. Are we 
Luigi's another character you gotta worry about getting 50 now. And Mario. He might have 50 by the time he gets uh, up there. Now Yoshi would be able to steal it back, but still. Okay, so she's gonna pass the boo without being able to steal a star. But Mario and uh, uh, Luigi are your problems right now. I don't know, why am I cheering for Yoshi instead of Luigi? <laughs> Especially in a game where everyone's gonna get 10, now we're gonna see some star stealing. Ready? Go! Peach, run! You got this! Uh, guys? <laughs> uh, guys? Problem. Man, they left her high and dry there, didn't they? if you're a Yoshi fan. Because watch what's going to happen here. That's why. Mario will get there in a turn or two. And he's going to be able to steal one. And then Yoshi should be able to steal it back. Bowser's space is she's not going to make it. At least with enough money to seal a star. Yep. Puts her back under 50, but not, not uh, within striking distance, I suppose.
Believe it or not, that's what Yoshi wants to see. He wants to see Mario rolling high and him rolling low. The reason for that is you want Mario to pass the boot first so he can steal the star from Luigi or Peach, probably Peach at this point, so that he can steal it back. But now Peach is going to be passing it again, and she's got 44. So she might get the last laugh. If Yoshi gets good points here, I don't know how to play this game because he is he is outside the lines in my opinion. Finish. And he gets a 92. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. I feel like I'm right on the line sometimes. It gives me like a really low score. What do I know? See who, uh, Koopa thinks is gonna win. Koopa's got Peach winning. taking from Peach, right? I would assume. Yes. Which puts Luigi in a really good spot. got the lowest amount of coins. Nobody's going to be stealing from him. Now, I know that Mario has the lowest amount of coins, but he has two stars. stars would be so important. Luigi had basically nothing. He couldn't get anything going in Peach's birthday cake. But he did end up buying a spot that ended up stealing a star for him, and then he swept the bonus stars. So he got first place with four stars, even though he, he passed the star twice and could not afford it either time. But he did not get one star in play and ended up winning by four. And it, it was even more lucky for him that nobody else really had any stars. Turns and we figure out who wins. Did Mario have a chance? We haven't really talked about Mario much. He's technically in second place. Not technically, he is in second place. Oh. It's bad for Luigi. But if Mario could get another star, then he'll only need one bonus star. Luigi with 15 coins, this might be one of the quickest bashing caches out there. That's one. That's two. And that's three. We're done. Finish! Oh. 
Luigi is dirt poor. Which might be the best thing that could happen to him, considering all the star stealing that could be happening in the last four turns. He's not going to have enough. Unless he only takes... There's no way Bowser only takes ten, right? Bowser only took ten! Mario has enough to buy another star! That's three for him. If for some reason no one steals his stars, which would just be the dumbest thing the computers could do. I mean, okay, that's a happening. Yoshi's not gonna get a chance to steal another happening frame, but he already had the happening star. Could he get around again? Could, could Mario get around again? That's a one. She's not... She might not have 50. If you are a Mario fan right now, you're voting for Peach not to get 50 coins, or not to get 250 coins when she goes by the boo. And Mario might be safe. So if I'm Mario, I'm trying my best here. You do not want Peach winning this minigame. Okay, they're past the Womp. Sorry, that's Womp. This is not over, guys. This just got interesting. Oh, you lose 10 for that. Holy cow. I didn't realize that. Okay, that's a 20-coin swing. That's great for Mario. It's awful for Peach. And Luigi getting there with 50 is going to be not probably happening. Luigi or Yoshi might not get there. I mean, he could. Theoretically could. He's got that coin star and that happening star just sewn up, though. That's the problem. Alright, so that's past Boo for, for Peach, and she can't afford to, to steal a star. And Mario says, here, take my coins. I don't care. It's not my star. kind of becoming a non-factor here. Yeah, I'm going to get up and move around during this really slow minigame. I will be right back.
turns to the end. Rolling low is good. It's gonna have to be a nice big roll for Yoshi to get to the boo. If he can even do it. Coins for him. Yeah, yeah Mario's not going to be sweeping the bonus stars, so he's got to do it the old fashioned way and get the stars in, in play. Star. Now you know where everything is. He's got plenty of time. He's good. Finish. So this could be Mario, Yoshi, or Luigi. Obviously, point totals, it looks like Luigi, especially since Luigi is in second place. If you guys want to win, you have to take that star from Luigi. And I think Yoshi has to roll a 10. I, I, I don't know if he can make it. He's right on the cusp where he might be able to or not, but he's going to have to roll really high. Because if Luigi has that star, you're not getting... He's not getting last place. <laughs> that bomb just took everyone out. turn. Yoshi's gonna have to steal a star if he wants to win this. Or he's gonna help his buddy Mario out by, by stealing a star from Luigi. Even though, why? What, what am I thinking? He wouldn't steal it from Luigi anyway. He would steal it from, uh, from Mario. So I don't even know what I'm thinking. It's not happening. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Mario needs some bonus stars, and I don't think he's gonna get them. And yeah, Yoshi didn't roll high enough anyway. That's gonna get one for her, but... Well, that's gonna... That's gonna knock Luigi down to third place, though. But something. That just cost him a point. So he has, has three, so he would have 11. So you need seven points to win. Oh. Could Mario do it? Is it going to come down to coins? That's the, that's the exciting part. So one thing we know is our final mini game in Mario Party 1 is going to be Skateboard Scamper. Ready? Go! It 
if if Mario wins this, he's got seven points. If Luigi gets three points from second place and one star, that uh, that could tie him up, and it would cut. It could come down to coins. Whoever had the most coins in the last two mint, uh, boards. And keep in mind, Mario just won 10. Could that... Sorry, he won 15. Could that be the difference? Oh my. I think Yoshi swept the board. I, that gives him the win. Which means that, uh, which means that Luigi would win the, the whole thing overall. Yeah, Yoshi just swept the board, so he's gonna win this game because he's got uh, he's got tiebreaker over Mario because of more coins. But that's not gonna give Mario enough to tie uh, tie Luigi in, to in points. So I'm pretty sure Luigi just won. Let's wait, uh, let's wait for the, uh, totals to be, uh, sure. I think Luigi got it. Luigi got last place. Does he have it? That's only 10 points. Okay, it's opened up again. Anyone doing the math in their head here? Alright, I'm gonna keep this a little quiet, a little under my hat here. I didn't realize that uh, Luigi got last place. All right, let's let's do this first. Let's do Peach. Because Peach has three points. She's gonna end up with five. Uh, Yoshi won that one, but he's only got one point, so that gives him eight. Eight points. Mario got six points there, which is going to give him ten. And Luigi had only two points. Last place, only one star. He's also at ten. It comes down to... It, it's going to come down to coins. Mario, 50 plus 26 is 76 coins. Luigi had 32. Guys, Luigi had 70 coins last time, last game at the end of it. So he's gonna win by coins. He's got 102 coins to 76. So Luigi wins Mario Party 1 by coins. <laughs> Basically dominated the entire thing. So that, that does make sense. So congratulations to Luigi, who just won Mario Party 1. Um, I don't know how you guys thought of this. That is something I'm trying out. Um, if you guys like it, please let me know. See you on YouTube later on. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. Bye.